Welcome to Happiest Places Home, the interior design channel. I'm Suzanne, an interior designer, and if you're into interior design, you'll love it here. This video features brand new 2024 holiday decor from Pottery Barn, plus dupes for those items to save some money. So if you have a low budget or a high budget, there's something in this video for you. I will just ask you a favor, and if you do see something that you kind of fall in love with, if you wouldn't mind purchasing it from my tags, those can be found in the description box. And for some people, when you pause the video, the shopping bag pops up. I get a very small commission for that, but it does help me and the channel going forward. All right, so why don't we jump into some very beautiful items, and a lot of them are throw pillows. So many new throw pillows this year. I've shown you many, and now we have new that came out this week. I have some things for you that are in that rustic luxe category. I think you'll really like those, and some design finds that I found along the way. Plus, stay tuned to the end because we have mood boards to help you figure out how to use these items very successfully. Let's jump in. Our first new item from Pottery Barn is the Jingle Stag Embroidered Pillow. This is a beautiful item by Pottery Barn, and I like the theme. It does go along with their rustic luxe look, and my dupe is very similar. And why don't we just take a look at it now? So when you put them side by side, you can see that there are some differences, but I prefer my dupe. I feel like it's a bit more tasteful, but the one from Pottery Barn is probably more fun. It has, the Pottery Barn has jingle bells on those antlers, which is kind of funny. Now, both pillows are the same size, 20 by 20. That's an ideal size, very nice. And then they're both 100% cotton on the front. The Home Depot is 100% cotton on the back, while Pottery Barn is half linen, half cotton. So they're very comparable, I hope you'll agree. It's just that I'm saving you quite a bit of money with my dupe, as you can see. Our next new item is the Pottery Barn Tree Embellished Shaped Pillow. It's $79.50. Obviously this one is filled. I think this is adorable, precious, but also happens to be elegant. It's funny that you could put all of those descriptions together in one item. I do think the beading on this would make it a little uncomfortable to snuggle up with, but I don't think that's the intention. It's probably for looks, but I do have a dupe for you and I think you could snuggle up with this one. So let's take a look. This dupe also happens to be from Home Depot. The items that I'm showing you from Home Depot can be shipped free. So it's nice that you don't have to pay shipping and you could also have it delivered to your store and pick it up there if that's more convenient. Well, let's compare these two items. The Pottery Barn is 14 by 16, while this Home Depot version is 15 by 16. So very similar. Noting, however, that they're very large on your sofa. So pretty cuddly on the Home Depot end because it doesn't have those beads, but just something big to hang on to. And of course, something big for design impact. Now, the Home Depot item that I'm showing you is 100% cotton on the outside, while the Pottery Barn is polyester. The clean lines of my dupe are preferable and I hope you agree with that. I have a second item from Home Depot, and this one happens to have lights on it. This item is a bit more expensive. It's 6367 instead of being in the 40-ish dollar range. The difference is it's lit 
and there's a switch to turn that light function on or off. I know we've seen those in the past on pillows and on sweaters, and it's a bit OTT. Uh, but in this situation, it's kind of cute because the pillow itself is tasteful, plain. So if you want the lit version, you're going to spend a little extra money. Or if you want the plain version, which I think I prefer, you would get it more in the $40 range. So both options are very cute. And I love the Pottery Barn one as well. It just depends on your budget and those slight variances depending on your taste. yet another brand new pillow from Pottery Barn in the same sort of look, this Rustic Lux. So this one is the Frosted Tree Embroidered Pillow. And you can see the price ranges are quite high like the others that I've shown you. An elegant looking pillow, very tasteful. I happen to love this one. Now I found a dupe for it that has a similar look, but some extra embellishments. So why don't we take a peek? Here is a Target lumbar lookalike. And this is 14 by 20, a very decent size, designer size. And I like a lumbar pillow to put in the middle of a sofa or the way it's presented on a chair. Uh, so you're putting that in the middle of the sofa where the other pillows don't have to coordinate perfectly. It also goes quite well in a trio of different sizes of pillows, of course. Now this one's a little more whimsical versus the Pottery Barn. And whether I like the Pottery Barn one more, I can't quite say. It's just that one seems a tad more elegant than the other. But they both have kind of a snowball little theme going on. I don't know if you noticed that about the Pottery Barn one, but you definitely can't miss it on the Target. So I thought if you're saving $50 and you like this one, nearly as much or as much, it's definitely worth that price. I have a second dupe for this and I'm showing you this in a different fashion than the usual because I found it at the last minute and I really loved it. So I thought this would be a good dupe in a way for that pillow, but I just wanted to squeeze this pillow in there. Let's just put it that way. So $34 for this square pillow with the white and gold theme, a little bit of beading. It's got the linen look. It kind of has everything going for it. So I thought I better just squeeze that in there. And I thought it would look so beautiful coordinated with many of the other dupe pillows that I found or with the Pottery Barn pillows if you happen to select one of those in addition to this. So sliding it in there, I hope you like it as much as I do. Another new pillow for 2024 by Pottery Barn, the Tree Embellished Lumbar Pillow. This is a really pretty looking design. It's got the uh, embroidery on it and that is so Pottery Barn for all of 2024. And now we're seeing it continue into the holiday season. And it has that gold uh, design where it's looking that luxe look, but then it has the rustic nature of that linen. This dupe is very similar in shape. It's the same size and it's a pillow cover versus the Pottery Barn pillow cover. So $32 versus $129 plus change on each. It does have a similar look. It's just that my dupe has a bit more of a modern feel. So it depends on whether you're a traditional decorator or if you've got the touch of modern in your home. But I thought this was a nice comparison. And if you wanted to save so much money uh, to get this one, then here it is.
for those of you who have all of the white paint all over the house and the very spare amount of decor, uh, a little minimalist, but also warm minimalism, this is a great choice for you. The Ridgeline Snowflake Pillow from Pottery Barn. It has that gorgeous winter white, the simple elegance of the large snowflake on the embroidery. This is sort of the crisp, understated, minimalist look for the holidays. And I thought I had to include this one. And I did find a dupe for it that's very interesting. It, it would be the best deal of everything that I've shown you so far. And uh, it's, it's not exactly the same, but it has the same elements and then you're getting a lot more for the money. Let's take a look. We have four pillows in a set at this very low price, as you can see. Now, the snowflake theme is on the second one from the left, and we have embossed trees on the one on the right. For a lot of you, maybe you're not as interested in having gray in the mix, so if you were just interested in the two cream pillows, they're still such a good value for those two. Now, the gray though, I wanted to make the point, a lot of people are afraid of gray because it was so, so, so in fashion and because it was so popular, it went quickly out of fashion. But it is coming back and especially paired with beige and camel. So mixing those two, you know, the cool and the warm together is what's happening with that gray. So you could do that in an ideal way with these four pillows, or you could use the gray elsewhere in your home, you know. So I just wanted to present these, and I know it's not one big snowflake, but I thought that embossed look is very pretty, and it's such a good deal. And 18 by 18 is a decent size pillow. So I think that's, that's a good deal right there. This is one of the more extraordinary pieces of holiday decor that you'll see in 2024, but maybe in all time. I'm not going to say the most extraordinary, but it's one of. So this is the Faux Lit Gold Olive Garland. It's $129, but consider 60 inches wide. So that would take you down the grand uh, dining table, as it's shown actually. And it's just very elegant and luxe. It's got that rusticy sort of luxe feel that Pottery Barn is going for. And it would blend so well with so many of the things that I showed you in this video today. I think $129 is well worth it because of the size. And it only has 30 bulbs, so it's not, it's just going to glisten a bit. How's that? Now I do have some alternatives for you. I have two options. The first one is this artificial golden leaf decorative string light. Now this is quite long, 78 inches versus the 60. However, because it's so thin, you do have to kind of wind it and weave it. I'm sure it could be done in much prettier ways than it's shown in this image. You could do a lot with it, but I just thought if you wanted the same feeling, but you definitely don't have that budget, this one is very affordable, but let's take a look at another idea. Here's another option for you, the Goldberry Christmas Lit Garland. It's $12.55, and this one's 74 inches long. It has a little bit more, uh, let's say, depth to it, so you wouldn't have to wind it as much. And I think this one might be uh, the preference for me between my two alternatives. Uh, so this would look really gorgeous, wrapped and woven through, say, candles, I think uh, taper candles, and then you could place some ornaments strategically throughout that. And then if you have a few decorative pieces that you collect, like, say, Santas 
or whatever you're collecting, it could all be woven together with this very beautifully. The Pottery Barn faux pine cone trees are just taking me back to a collection that my grandmother had. All of her friends were getting together and going to these demonstrations to buy these things. I don't know what company it would have been, but they were buying wreaths and topiaries that were shellacked. Um, I guess shellac is the right word to say of pine cones. And it's like you, it was a status symbol kind of, you had to have one or you had to have many. This is a memory for me. I think that these are really a more beautiful version because they're not so shellacked. But there's two sizes in this, uh, so that's nice that you can kind of stagger them together. I have a much more affordable option. Let's take a look. I searched for this item and I found a lot of them, but this is the best of the best in terms of something that looks like a dupe for this. It's $34.99 and it is a bit more elegant, I think, than the Pottery Barn version. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult Pottery Barn because theirs inspired this, so they deserve the credit and theirs are wonderful. I also like the idea that you can stagger theirs, but this one is really fun as a standalone or you could get two. And as I was searching for this, I found a several things that I liked. Let's take a look. In my search for the last dupe, I found an undeniably fabulous item. And then another one. I wanted to share them. I thought this was a good spot to do it since it was inspired by the last item. At Wayfair, I found this 31 inch faux pine topiary. 31 inches is extremely tall for decor. And I think if I were to get this, I would get two. And I thought picturing it flanking the sides of a mantle. So I ended up putting the actual vignette together for you. And I did that using a mirror that I've shared in the past that I knew many of you loved and purchased. And then I shared a faux mantle uh, also that was in a past video and many of you purchased. Putting these three items together, my goodness, it's just fabulous. The point of this was to show you the topiary because it does have that rustic luxe pottery barn look, but it's got a little hint of the extra luxe more so than theirs. And I thought the price was just wow. Now I found something else because I was just playing around looking at pine cone wreaths after I thought of my grandmother. And I found this one and I selected this one to show you because I thought it looked so good with the topiary urns. And it happens to be the exact same size as those. So finding that in a design is a really good find. So you could put them together and they would look so good. You could also put the topiaries at the bottom of the mantle with that on top, or you could just have them in the same room in general. Or that uh, wreath would just look great on the front door for the end of fall and the holiday season. How about that? You don't even have to switch it out. Anyway, 31 inches also, I know I keep mentioning the size of items, but it's a good designer tip. A very big wreath has a much better impact on your front door than a small one, unless you hang a very large ribbon on the small one and let it hang from the door knocker and tying that into a very professional looking beautiful bow. But you don't have to bother with all of that with a wreath of this size. It is fantastic. So I thought I would share those at this point. I hope you don't mind. Nothing to do with Pottery Barn whatsoever, but I think sometimes when you find something really fun, you wanna share it with someone. So I chose you. Pottery Barn has been full force ikat for this entire year. So adding a piece of that as a throw pillow into the mix for the holiday season, I mean, 
any of us could have expected that. And here it is. So it has the red and the green, but then also a mustardy looking gold. So it has the holiday-ish colors, but they're still having that same theme of the ikat in this piece. And I think it's very pretty. I wouldn't buy it necessarily just to be a holiday decoration. Uh, you could probably use this if you have this color palette. You can save $100 by making the switcheroo to my Wayfair option. It's not as wide, and you can see that. I don't have to give you the measurements to tell you that. But it's got that same flavor, and mine's $37.99, while the filled pillow from Pottery Barn, although with the nicest materials filling it, is $143.50. So I thought this was a nice uh, look and something a little different for the holidays. But like I said, you can add it into your decor, especially if you've adopted that burgundy situation that we've been looking at throughout the fall. Now here is another option for you. could coordinate my first dupe and this second one together. This is $27.99 and square. So I think if you paired my other two together, you'd still be saving money. Uh, or if you paired this and the other together, you would still be saving money. Let's explore several mood boards that I put together for you with some really beautiful music. If you've been tempted by anything that I've shown you today, Pottery Barn or the alternatives, please use the links in my description box to purchase. I'll see you again next week on Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.